Big Slick here today updating the firmware on an old vintage Comedia C7070 wide zoom Olympus digital camera. We're updating this firmware in VMware Player Workstation running Windows 10 64 bit. We connect the camera to the virtual machine through USB. Once the camera is recognized by Windows 10, you run the Olympus digital camera updater software. You choose update firmware, go through the menus, and if your camera needs an update, it will tell you the current firmware version and what new version is available. As you see, this camera is still on 1.0. 1.1 is available. When you read the notes, it has something to do with the pick bridge uh, improvements. But there may be other improvements as well. Sometimes they're undocumented. So you go ahead and go through the steps. Choose the update. On these old cameras, it's a very fast download. The installation time is approximately two minutes. So we'll be patient and wait. As you see in the insert video I have showing how the camera responds during the update, it, up, it shows exactly the way the software shows it to. The three symbols on the camera with the round double arrow symbol flashing during the update. When the update is complete, the camera will flash OK. And at that time, the update has been applied. You have the new firmware. You will turn the camera off, turn it back on, reconnect it to the underlying operating system, such as in this case, the Windows 10 running inside of VMware Workstation Player. And at that time, you'll relaunch the camera updater software to make sure that the new version was installed and that there's no more updates available. As you see, the camera has now finished installing the new firmware. It says OK on the screen. So you'll reach over, turn the camera off, and then turn it back on. Let the underlying operating system detect it again. As you'll see right here, it's detected here. And now we will fire up the Olympus digital camera updater software again and check what version of the firmware is installed and if there's any further updates available. As you will see in this example, we now will have the new 1.1 version of the firmware installed and no more updates are available. It's that simple. This is the way it's done.